welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a couch with pillows. Now if you don't know what you mean, well, it's just a couch which has pillows on it. Yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Now there are going to be two methods in today's video. Um, yeah, so um, there's not like one which is like command blocks or resin. No, there, there, there's two methods that you can use. Maybe one suits you better than the other. I don't know. Maybe one's more survival friendly. There is an easier one, um, which is the uh, the uh, first one I'm going to be showing off. But uh, if you um, are really advanced and you know about, uh, about Minecraft and you're like, and you're not really new to the game, then the second method is it. I think it looks nicer. Um, but you can't really choose. They look pretty similar. But uh, anyway, let's just get your um. Well, your item. So this is the first method. Now, for the first method, you are going to need one torch, two banners. Now, now the uh, banners can be your choice color, and then your oak wood stairs. Wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Right. Okay. And I need three stairs, and then probably be your probably your just like you know your you're like you're kind of like your wall block i don't know but you don't really need this white concrete or whether this is just kind of like my block you might need if you but you don't really need this is i'm just gonna make like a a temporary room for you i don't know you know just just because i i mean you, you you'll need to do that right but uh, anyway so here is just like a temporary room you know and what you need to do is uh put your stairs the way you do now i'm actually need a pickaxe as well there we go, I got my pickaxe, so now I just need to, um, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, hang on. No, it's done, okay, so I made it, uh, one block bigger, just because I wanted to. Okay, so, you, you obviously don't do that, but, yes, I did describe an iron axe, but what you need to do is put your stairs like this, or I guess however you want, they could be all straight or anything, really, but, uh, anyway, what you need to do, break these blocks, and then maybe to break some more block. I, I really should have got my t like tools ready. I didn't get a shovel either. Anyway, you put your banners like this. Now, you can't really see that well. So, I'm going to break this. And then put it like... I think that... Yeah, that looks a bit better. You can see that that right there looks a lot nicer. So, you, you do that. Now, you'll notice if I do this, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you see the banners darken. Now, you don't want that. So, you just got to put a torch and then there you go that then they're, they're lit up that, that that's perfectly fine so there you have it this is the first method now obviously i'm going to do this part in creative mode but you can do whatever you want you don't you have to do it in creative mode so you can see that yeah that looks pretty nice now you could also um you can see they're kind of wavy oh uh, the the next design doesn't have that issue but uh anyway what you could do is you could make your stairs like this and have no, none of those cor curves and it still looks fine but what you could do also is is rotate the banner um like this and that also looks nice now uh i think actually I, if i right now make it go if i turn it now yeah i mean yeah you can see that whenever you're turning it it doesn't exactly look great with the like that when you're doing that but if you actually made it like this you can have not like that but if you made it like exactly like this you can see you get the cushion on the other side now sadly you can't do like both you can't make it go like this and like curve because you already have the banner there but uh, you get the idea you can do pretty much whatever so you put these and then you got this here and i'll, I'll probably you probably want your uh, you, you probably want your white concrete or whatever floor and yeah there you go you have it um I didn't really need to make it this big, but uh, you get the idea. You you can see that now it's a nice looking sofa. The banners can be, again, any color. Now, the only thing is, you can kind of tell that there's a little light in this, and that you can't exactly tell. But if I make it nighttime, which it, it's going there, but I'm going to just go time set, and then I'm going to go 18 thousand you can see that it does really give off lights and so the 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 problems with this design is the little pillows they kind of they kind of like uh, they kind of move it's it's not very noticeable but uh i do have an opposite sign but if i i can do like double you can see that they're moving and that's weird and also over here you can see they're moving up uh, and also 
Um, I already showed you that. And also, again, yeah, they it lights up. And that, I mean, that's not a couch. Like, why is a couch lighting up? It's because of the torch. Now, you don't have to have the torch there. It's not a need, but you can see that they look like black pillows now. And you may not want black pillows, you know. But uh, if this is in, like, a no matter what lit up room, then this is, I mean, a pretty good design. If it's, like, if it's, like, always lit up, like the room, you have lights, like glowstone that never turn off then that would look good because like even if it's night the the torch light doesn't really show very much but uh anyway you can use again whatever color so if i go get a banner you can use well i guess blue is similar but you can use you know green if you have if you have green pills you can even do white pillows yeah whatever and you can see it still looks very awesome it just changes your theme say you had like a Maybe a green themed house, and we'll use green. Or if you have blue themed, yeah, you know the, you know it. So that's the first method. But again, the two flaws uh, or two problems or whatever uh, that they do kind of shake or not shake, but they kind of like move in the wind is what it's supposed to look like because they're banners. And then the the weird lighting if if it's always dark in this room or something. So if those problems are bucking you, well, this next method is the one for you and i'm gonna break this and i'll see you soon so this next method uh, for this next method you will need one block of redstone uh two sheep however you're gonna get those you might you mean i don't know you might you have to get them if you're doing a survival you can't use spawn eggs uh but anyway three pistons uh blocks just they don't have to be white concrete uh pickaxe or actually you don't need any of these these are tools i mean you probably need some digging tools anyway maybe anyways um some oak uh, some slabs uh some stairs and then some boats now the um slabs can be whatever the oak stair the stairs can be whatever and then the oak boats should match your stairs so if you're using akashia stairs use akashia boats it'll just look nicer but it wouldn't really make much of a difference because they're kind of going to be black boats when you're done so i guess it doesn't really matter maybe use birch boats i don't know but uh anyway so anyway what we do is i don't know how i did that but what we need to do is um go ahead and i'm gonna actually save the things that i'm gonna use for last oh wait well anyway it doesn't really matter what we need to do here okay so um i'm gonna put these at the back of the sheep and stuff anyway let's get right into it so what you need to do is go and break some blocks obviously because you're gonna need to do that um and then break some more and then break these just like that and then what you should want to do is um go ahead and get your boats out and well actually no your slabs out you put your slabs out like this you actually i didn't need to really mine out the actually you kind of you have to leave these air uh yeah pretty much or they could also be slabs but it's re more resource light if you don't put the slabs there now here's a nice handy tip if you are kind of um, sometimes when you place the boats here, because you need to place them like this, uh, you, you know, sometimes they'll end up a little bit sideways. I'll get to why I have this here in a minute. Um, uh, so they're sideways. Yeah, you don't want that. So what you need to do is, um, press F3, and then this either might be around 0, or it might be around 90, might be around 180, or minus 90, but you'll see right here is going to be a number, and that's your horizontal rotation, and then this one's your vertical, but we don't need to worry about that right now. What we need to worry about is the first one. So, um, it, we want to get that as close as we can to 0, 0.0, or maybe it's 90.0, I don't know, or maybe minus 90.0, whatever. Now, you, if you can get it perfect, well then, good for you. But anyway, what we got to do is you got to kind of aim, you know, about like the middle, and then you got to kind of move to the right, and then, okay, sometimes this happens where it looks like your boat is gone, but it's not actually gone. And you should probably collect it. Uh, but anyway, and, and this will... Okay, there we go. So if you place it again, it might not happen. I don't know. You might have to move a little bit. But uh, anyway, we do that. And then we grab the art boat, uh, another the other boat. And then we start placing that like that. And then once they're both placed, what you need to do is um, try to get your boat to, I think anyways, kind of go a one pixel, if I'm not wrong. Uh, go... Yeah, I'm just going to put a little staircase to get over. Uh, one pixel uh, out like this. So this is like about one pixel. You want to make sure it's a little bit over one pixel, actually. So this is like one and a half pixels. 
if you don't get what I mean, this is like one and a half, the bullet has like one and a half pixels uh, after the concrete blocks, basically, but, um, anyway, um, so, you do that, and then you can see that, like, well, maybe, okay, that isn't even one pixel at all, uh, okay, well, that is, that is more than, I think, let me just do one more little tap or whatever, there we go, okay, so, now, you can see that they're pretty even. Okay, so what you need to do is grab your sheep, and then put one, push it, put one, push it, or put another one, whatever, and then you, what you gotta do, well, that's that part, and you don't need to, like, color the sheep or whatever with dyes yet, but you will later to whatever color you want. Um, anyway, what we gotta do is we gotta put blocks like uh, this, put, um, stair facing this, and then like this, and then like that, and that was, and that's gonna be your, like, your couch, uh, and then you gotta get pistons, and then pay, like, pay, place them facing down, and then put some redstone, uh, a redstone block, and then break the redstone block, break the pistons, and then there you go, um, collect these, or collect those, I guess, and then, um, that is actually almost it. Now, what you want to do is go F3 plus B. Um, now, that'll show hitboxes. Now, uh, don't care about anything. Only care about what you're looking at right here. Now, if you see that you don't see these white lines, or, yeah, they're kind of like these white lines going up like this. If you don't see them, uh, which is if you haven't mo moved your boat back, uh, if you haven't moved it back far enough, you won't see the, okay, well, now I don't even see the sheep at all, but anyway, um, I'll move it back a little bit, basically, what I'm trying to say here is that we can see a sheep, but we can't see those, like, white lines that we had before, so you gotta move it back until you see those uh, white lines appear, just like that, now, that is actually pretty much it, you can just block them up, and then you can put some blocks back here if you don't want to show or whatever. And uh, that is about it. Um, let's do that and then I can stack these. Uh, and so that is about it. So now they're white cushions. But the cool thing is we can actually um, uh, color them. So I can make this like lines and it's purple or whatever, you know. So uh, now you can see that we have color and we can just right click them. Yeah, I... You actually have to right click like this part. You can't right click like right here. It doesn't work. You have to right click like this part, like like at the edge. Like you have to right click on the side of the stair block, basically, for it to work. Um, but you'll eventually get it. So I can do that and then make this the orangey. You know, you can do whatever you want, and you can color your uh, your sofa or chair, couch or whatever you say, your pillow. You can cut. Well, no, you can color your your couch or your pillows not yeah, your couch or whatever, you can call your pillows, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, um, and this does not have that lighting glitch, so you can see, no matter how, uh, so you can see, no matter how late is it, I can go time set 18,000, and then, well, that, that didn't really make a difference, and the, there's no lighting glitches, and if you go day, still no lighting glitches. So it's pretty cool, and yeah, I did just change the color of these, <clears throat> but yeah, so basically it removes uh, both of the glitches, um, that we had before, the lighting glitches, and the weird, like, wavy thing, where, like, it, it, like, had the weird wave of the banner, banners, and you can just color it, whatever, you can get dye, and then, and then you can just color it, <clears throat> whatever you like, however you like, so, works with all the, the all the dyes, and yeah, it's pretty neat. So it just fixes both of the two bugs and then it adds a feature. So this one is all better and uh, you can kind of hurt the sheep and everything like like that you can see. <clears throat> and so it isn't like perfect because you can hurt them. But uh, if you know you have, if you're, if you're trust, if you're making this on a server, then if you, as long as you trust the players on the server, then you're basically fine because like, no one's, like, if, if the players are nice on your server and they're not, like, griefers, they're probably not going to try to, like, break your pillows or anything. They're pro they, if, and if they do hurt them, they'll probably be like, what, what are these? And then, oops, I didn't need to hurt that. But uh, they'll probably not do it anymore. Hopefully not too many people go like, huh? Ooh, that's neat. And then, huh? And then they keep doing that until it dies. But uh, overall, it should be safe if you put this on a server. 
And uh, I think anyways, I might be wrong about this one, but if you grab a, another sheep, if, if one gets killed, there we go, just go ahead and kill it, Ari. If someone accidentally does kill it, I think, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, okay, well, yeah, okay, if, as long as they don't wander away, then maybe, no, I guess they can't get back in the boat, but I think if you just go behind it, and then break this block or something, yeah, it gets right back in the boat, you can put the blocks back, and then, voila, it's not facing the right direction, oh, wait a second, are there two sheep in here? I think there are two sheep in the boat right now. <laughs> That's weird. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, you get the idea. So let me kill ya. But, so is there... Yeah, there were two sheep in the boat. So maybe ones over here can get in? I don't know. Maybe if I click... You know, I guess I guess they can't get in here. I don't know. It's I'm not... I'm not I don't know. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. So as you can... As long as you just... Oh, it's one of the sheep fell. But anyway, if you just push it in here and then do that, you just get your pillow back and you can do whatever. So that's about it. If you did enjoy the video, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Hope you enjoy!